So hello again from me. Uh, now I will talk about the NEON framework that I already teased uh, a few minutes ago. So it's a framework uh, that enables developers to build cross-platform Nextcloud clients. So why do we want to have a cross-platform uh, approach? Um, the problem with existing clients is that uh, yeah, they usually only run on one device type or one platform. Some platforms, for example mobile Linux, don't have a suitable client at all for most of the functionality. And every client has its own code base, with, which comes with a high maintenance cost. This also means that the user experience and the features that are available are dis, uh, fragmented between the different platforms, and it doesn't feel very well implemented sometimes. So how do we even achieve this? At its core, we use Dart and Flutter, which is a cross-platform cross way to build convergent, performant apps. And we have a strict rule on not depending on any closed source libraries because this, uh, this is a real no-go for some in our community. We generate a Nextcloud Dart client SDK out of the open API spec specs Kate already talked about earlier. This client is already used in production by many other apps. We bundle all of this together inside the Neon app framework. But what is even the Neon framework? We try to do the heavy lifting for, for you by implementing the authentication flow, data fetching, and cache management. We provide you with many pre-built UI components and utility functions ready to be reused. This means that client developers only need to, re -implement, uh, to implement their own UI and a little bit of logic behind it. And of course, we are cross-platform by default. What features do we already have? We have an Android client and a Linux client, both mobile Linux and desktop Linux. We have experimental web support, and just a few days ago, a, a community member, member stepped up to work on iOS and Mac OS, and Windows, we hope to support it in the near future. We have an offline mode that caches server responses, so can, you can also use it in a place where you have spotty connection, and we support multiple accounts. This was hard previously, and therefore many smaller apps didn't support this. We have the ability to build monolithic multi-apps. So just like you already know, on the web front end, you know, navigate to the, your server once. You have files, talk, news, all in one place. And that's what we also provide you, one app where you can bundle many app implementations. Though we also provide a few reference implementations ready for you to check out and get started how to use the code. So, of course, we have files available with all the basic functionality would, you would expect. We also implement Sync that works the same on all platforms, so you can use it easily. Then news, as we already said, well, nice to read some articles and listen to podcasts. Of course, notes, you all know it, very easy, not much to see. Well, markdown editing and previewing, of course. And then we have notifications which also includes push notifications, and since we don't want to depend on any non-FOSS non libraries, uh, we use unified push to uh, support that. Then, well, what do we, want, what do we plan next? Um, so we want to implement an offline mode that caches user interactions. So for example, if you delete a file, edit a note, or send a message and talk, then the, that will be stored offline. And once you are online again, then it will be executed. This will work in, gener uh, in a generic way so that all the apps can leverage it easily. Next, we want to implement some more apps, for example, the dashboard app, the contacts app, the talk app, and for talk, we even have a prototype available. And then we want to implement more convenience features, for example, like notify push, which decreases the load on the server and makes the app more reactive. And of course, we want to know what you want to see, so please let us know. And how can you try it out? So the code is already available on GitHub. Um, Later today, there will be a workshop as well about uh, the framework. So if you are interested in that or want to discuss some ideas um, or want to start working on it, you can come to us, of course. And we will work on it uh, today, but also in, during the Contributor Week. And soon we will also publish on the stores uh, like F-Droid, Google Play, and FlatHub. And once we have iOS and macOS and Windows support, then we will also publish on those platforms. Thank you.